Hi there, today we're going to look a bit at pathfinding in Build the World. We are currently implementing a pathfinding technique um, for animals, enemies, water, etc. Um, for this pur purpose, we have made a little demo. There's three start points here, and the software now has to find the shortest way from these three points to three other points. And the first point in the world that it has to find is this arrow here. The next point it has to find is this point over here. And the last position it has to find is located all the way over here. It's quite a big, big map under development, but you can see it's lit down here. So the last arrow is here. So basically, find the shortest path from the start points to the end points, and um, let's give it a try. There we go. Um, for this demo purpose, uh, I've just told the engine to set some blocks so we can find, so we can see the path. And we can see the starts here with the green, blue, and red. And it finds its way here, down the stairs, all the way over here. Correctly, you can see the shortest path in here all the way down here and the green one which was the first path found its way to the arrow. The blue one continues here probably considered going this way up the stairs or this way no this was the shortest way and even found its way through this little hole I made all the way up here and to the corner yep and the last one here there's some doors down there but they're closed so it probably considered that way we couldn't go that way so we're following the the red lead here all the way down here in here let's go around here and we can see here it found a way to go up here up the stairs and since I told the engine that it could only step up one block or one down block well then it can't jump down here this is all configurable so we can have some animals that can only walk on flat surfaces but other one can maybe jump three or four or five blocks this is all configurable for this purpose it can only move up one block or down one so we're just gonna follow this track and it might have considered this wall, but no, it's too high, can't get up there. Down here, all the way down here, all the way down here. And we can see down there that it found its way. To the final block. So, what can Pathfind pathfinding be used for in games usually it's uh, used for intelligent enemies um, and of course we can use use pathfinding for the same purpose intelligent em enemies that can actually find you um, it could also be used for animals that um, needs to find some food or maybe a bear that needs to find its cave through the world so it will find like the shortest path to its cave so it can go there and sleep. It could also be water as we have uh, running water. Um, maybe uh, water coming down from a mountain where is the shortest path to a place where it can go you know continue to to flow down. Anyway this is uh, soon to be integrated for all its purposes pathfinding. Thank you for watching. Oh by the way for the technical details this is a very fast algorithm developed by um, Lee Thomason and I modified it to suit uh, this world and for our purposes so
Bye-bye. All for now.